Welcome back to BelizeAndHitMakers.com YouTube page, you know. Today we continue the series about mixing dance hall vocals. We're going to learn about reverb and how to use it properly on your vocals. Before we go on though guys, please subscribe and follow the content. I appreciate all the support, you know, all the time. First, what is reverb? So, clap your hands. Listen to the song after the clap, you know, that, that little air of song that song is known as reverb you know when a song occurs in a room or a space we hear the direct song plus the room song and that combination of what you hear is what you call reverb so this diagram now shows the instrument and the listener inside the room so the song bounces off of everything before it reaches us so that's the importance of getting the reverb right because if you're in a bad listening environment though and tweaking your vocals if you're in a hollow room or something like that you'll get the reverb wrong and so that's the importance of having good acoustic treatment within your room too so so today i'm going to show you guys a way how to calculate that regardless if you have a good room or not the two main parts of, of reverb we use in the dance of vocals will be the pre-delay and the decay time you know so we're going to focus on just those two today and this diagram now shows the decay, I want to call it early reflections and the pre-delay. The early reflections are, are just like the, the first song like after the clap or after the snap. Like that first song you hear after, that's the early reflections. The pre-delay is the time it takes from the original song to when the reverb starts. So you could have the pre-delay late and it would make the vocal sound a lot more clear and upfront as opposed to having the pre-delay short so as you know as you hear the song the reverb starts but with the pre-delay set long the reverb comes in after so i'm going to show you guys a way how to calculate all of this stuff to get the pre-delay right every single time one of the main things you have to be aware of right is the reverb will blend with all the instruments so if you have a a bad reverb and you have some something like pads or strings in your, in your rhythm the pre-delay might be blending in or clashing with those frequencies from those type of instruments and i would create some muddy vocals so let, let's figure it out now so this mix i have is a track from a belizean artist you know called trizzy um first thing first bpm is very important when calculating the pre-delay in this case the tempo is 96 bpm and we're gonna use this um, formula and calculate 60,000 milliseconds divided into the BPM, right? So it's 60,000 divided by 96, which is the BPM. It gives us 625. So on this number now, we're gonna work with this number for right now. The reverb we're gonna use today is the Valhalla Room. So let's pull up the calculator now 625 so we put this at 6.2 6.25 which is 6.3 let's listen na 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 yeah yeah uh uh chizzy hey come at me see you let me see you uh galatala hold on let's put a long one first so with this same number if we want a longer reverb, we we'll just times it by two. Twelve fifty. Tell her to love figure of my baby. Come at me see you, make me see you. Me got a big fat cocky of figure of my baby. Come at me see you, make me see you. Ah, tell her to love figure of my baby. Okay, and maybe we could use a six twenty five on this one. Come at me see you, make me see you. Me okay. So now the decay. So it's 625 milliseconds. We're gonna divide that now by two. 3.12. Figure oh my girl. Come at me see you, make me see you. Cut your style and get to tell you where. Yeah, and one trick I always do to, to, to listen to the reverb, you know, you play the acapella, you play a part, and you press stop. 
then you listen to how long the the tail is, you know. So let's try that trick. She know me no dead like no cemetery. Okay, it's a bit long. Let's shorten this one again. So <coughs> divide this by two again. One fifty six. One point five six. Alright, let's listen to that. Get the money, get it every year. Okay. Now we could bring the mix down. This is the the wet knob. Let's bring it down. The money get it every year. Cut your style and get it any way. That's without. She know me no dead like no cemetery. No for them think of them property. Can't make she know when she tap on me. Can't let cheesy hope you understand. Yeah, we could find a good spot in between. Can't make she know when she tap on me. Can't let cheesy hope you understand in me. Alright, so that sounds good for that for the reverb for that. So let's hear that with the rhythm. Yo my girl. Killer with style, killer with flow. She love the music, she love how we roll. Look how she fall like Domino. Come on me yard, she not palm me door. I what she want, she come nothing more. Yeah, that sounds good with that reverb. And if you notice uh, it's it bring the vocals off a bit with that. Killer with, with style, reverb. killer with flow. <clears throat> because it's BPM synced. So when, when you sync your reverb to the BPM, you always get it right, you know? The one way to combat, like if you're in a bad room or... You know, it's a good starting ground to get the lead vocals right. So what you could do with that, let's um, open the ad libs now. And what I would do, let's pull up the same... Let's put the calculator again. So it's 1.56 decay. Let's try that. Let's try the same reverb. So I'm gonna copy this preset. 1.5 and 12.5. Tired killer with flow. She love the music. She love how we roll. Look. If you notice, I have a different EQ. You know, on this ad lib, boost up around a thousand hertz. And everything around that. Look how she fall like that me know. Come on me yard, she not pa me door. I wish she Okay, so we could probably do like a different setting, maybe double the decay. So one fifty six times two, three twelve. You know, that way we would put more reverb on the ad lib. with flow. The music she love on. Yeah, I still have to clean up the, the vocals a bit to take out some of the breaths or whatever, but let's not worry about that for now. <clears throat> no, the, the ad libs they have a longer tail than the lead vocal. Let's hear them together. Killer with style, killer with flow. She love the music, she love how we roll. Look how she fall like that me know. Come on me yard, she not palm me door. I what she want, she come me off him more. I know the dollars that it make her know. Set. Yeah, alright, that sounds good in terms of reverb. But a lot, of, a lot of stuff in the vocals still need to be cleaned up. That's why I normally do it with the reverb, guys. Get that lead vocal to sound good, sound right. You could do this stuff in anything. You could use true verb or whatever reverb you prefer. It's the same thing. Decay time, pre delay. We're gonna continue this dance hall uh, mixing series as well, too. I'm gonna working on a video for a compression. EQ and <coughs> vocal correction to vocal and pitch correction so look out for those videos guys thanks for the support bless up